power plant. A hope for the future. NAR Corporation begins trials of their proprietary recultivation technology. Tronium 90 and plutonium 240. Some never abandoned their homes or even moved back. Will Samichels be removed forcibly from the exclusions of demonstrations across the Ukraine? Ten billions of hernias for an indefinite lease. This is a cabal. NAR thinks they are above the law. What does NAR really hide behind the patent rights? One thing is certain. The sarcophagus must remain intact. Igor, wake up, you sleepyhead. Look, look over there. Do you remember the glade just beyond those trees? That's where you proposed to me. You were so nervous and sweet. You're still sweet, my Professor Kimunik. Anyway, it feels good to return after all these years, doesn't it? What is it, Igor? You're still half asleep. Wake up. Awaken. Tanya? Tanya, stop kidding around. You sleepyhead. Igor. Wait! You proposed to me. You were so nervous. And sweet. My professor can you make? Tanya Amelieva, stop this childish nonsense at once. Where are you? After all these... That's enough! Igor.
at a ball. Why is this place so familiar? It's my old workshop. Please hurry. This reality is coming apart, can't you see? Get back to your work. It's the only way out of here. Feels good to return. The entire zone is on lockdown. NAR doesn't screw around. Yeah, let's just hope our source comes through and we don't run into any patrols on the way. And what if we do? We will improvise. That's what our sleeping beauty here paid us for, remember? Sure, sure. Do you really think they'll test this recluse room, recultivation something? I haven't seen any signs of that, but I'm telling you, something is up. There are way too many contractors for such a small area. We can handle the contractors. They're probably some of Wagner's rejects. Fuck you. I fought alongside those guys. I know, I'm just messing around, Anton. Let's focus on getting our professor here some of this. Chernobylite? That's what it's called? Igor? Igor. Up, Igor. We have to go. What? I must have dozed off for a moment. Let's go. What are you? Having doubts, Professor? If you're thinking about backing out, you need to tell us now. Not a chance. Let's get this over with. You sure this plan of yours is going to work, Professor Kimenyuk? Igor, please. And yes, it will. You two take care of your part, and I'll take care of mine. All right? Try to keep a low profile. Last thing we want is a firefight. A, a fire? What are you getting us into, Igor? It is necessary. It's something that needs to be done. I don't like riddles, Professor. But you're the boss. Reminds me of that night up in Syria. Remember that, Olivier? I do, unfortunately. Misha, we can't! We have to fall back! The pressure's dropping! Downstairs! Now! Go! 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 This is no time for bird watching, Igor. Let's go. Through the fence, into the sewers. Sewers? Oh, and down into the underworld we go. It's nothing but a hole in the ground, Anton. Oh, does anyone else feel itchy? So, how bad is the radiation around here these days? It's been a long time, right? Do yourself a favor and don't think about that right now. Let's focus on doing the job and getting out of here in one piece. Igor, 
If the shit hits the fan, get yourself out of sight until we take care of it, okay? Don't be a Giroi. Don't panic, Olivier. No Giroi is here. Only some desperate people walking into the heart of darkness. No talking. Go. After you, Igor. Ladies and eggheads first. <laughs> Funny guy, eh? Shit, Igor, get down! Get to the sewer entrance. We're right behind you. Stay in the shadows. Become invisible. So, you were inside the lab? Yeah. Anything interesting? Nah. Interesting is above my pay grade. Now pass that bottle, Sergei. Eagle, hey, over here. You sure this is the right entrance? I used to work here, remember? Yeah, I'm sure. Igor, take a rad reading, will you? Three point six. Not great. Not terrible. Chin up. We're safe for another hour or so. All right. None of you are safe. You have a good memory. Okay, I'll take point. Yes, sir, Captain Olivier, sir. You sure this device of yours works, Igor? Don't have time for getting into details right now, but yes, all it needs is more Chernobylite. Chernobylite, right. The most radioactive compound on Earth. That's what you called it. The man knows what he's doing, Anton. Stay focused, complete the mission. We'll all be laughing about this over a beer before you know it. The readings are bad. The numbers are too high. We have to get out of here. We can't leave him behind, dear God! Let me out of here! Let me out! Alexander Boresevich, someone has to open the valves manually. Someone has to go inside. Oh, two hostiles up ahead. I'll take the other one, Olivier. Oh, look at Bright Boy over 
here. Okay, it's your show. But if you get us killed, I'm gonna be pissed. Is that Eagle? All right, Eagle. You're the star. Ready to execute the plan? I'm accessing the terminal. If the AZ-5 button is still working... <gasps> Igor, don't! Tatiana? What are you stalling for, Igor? Time is critical here. I'm not stalling, goddammit! The system's not responding to the prompt! If I make a mistake, we could cause another meltdown! You never said anything about that before! Okay, what now? We have to find another way to access the reactor room! By we, you mean me and Anton, right? Come on, partner. This is what they pay us the small bucks for. The reactor room, now! Igor, why didn't you just press the damn button? You don't have long. Run. What about the radiation? Anton, please, you're stressing me out. Oh, it's even colder than I remember. seen one of these before, haven't you? A much smaller fragment, but enough for my initial studies. Are you going to tell me how this fancy gun of yours works? It creates a kind of shortcut through time and space. It's called a wormhole. It forms a tunnel with two mouths. It needs an exotic energy source to keep it open. Exotic energy... Uh, that's the Chernobylite? Exactly. And where does this shortcut lead? It leads wherever it needs to. Let's leave it at that for now, all right? What? My fiance. She disappeared here during the disaster 30 years ago. Yeah, can we talk about her later? Grab the crystals and let's go. Oh, oh my fucking god! Help me! Olivier? 
Where the hell did you go? Olivier! What the fuck was that? Listen, I... Jesus, I'm so sorry, Olivier. Anton was... Uh, he was a good man. Who was that fucker? Hell if I know. Somehow he used the negative energy of the Chernobylite to teleport. Now, to confirm this theory... Stop. That doesn't matter right now. Can he get to us here? And where is here exactly? We're inside a wormhole connecting two singularities. It's quite short and not very stable, so we need to move. Do you understand? And no, he can't chase us in here. I, I mean, it's possible in theory, but highly unlikely. I don't want to know. Just get us out of here. This way. You'll come out near Mikhail's place, hopefully. Let's meet there, then. Uh, uh, my arm. Uh, it feels like the muscle's been twisted from the inside. I'm going to execute that black-masked motherfucker, Anton. I promise you. This place is definitely not what it used to be. It's like a snake, shedding its skin over and over again. You have to learn it all over again. Feel it. Tame it. Singularity, tearing at the fabric of reality. The foundations of this reality are really quite fragile. You're out of time, go! we walk through these gates more than I can count let's go in together my love I need to find a way to reduce my rad levels first look for a little bottle the label will say potassium iodide DTPA and Prussian blue it helps with radiation poisoning You're hurt, Igor. Tend to your wounds. 
I have no medkit. Perhaps I can prepare something over the bonfire. where I can see them. What's the password? Would you mind? I can't think with that gun pointed at me. Igor? Oh, damn it. Nostalgia. It's nostalgia. It was your idea, goddammit. Come on in. Igor, you're a bit of a handyman, right? Take a look around and see if any of this crap is useful. This is your element, my sweet. Create order from this chaos. I see Mikol's old radio is working again. Yes. Anton fixed it before... he left. Should be usable. I'm sorry, Olivier, really. But we need to focus on what's ahead of us. Tell me you're not going straight back to the power plant. Because if you want to commit suicide, there are easier ways. We're outnumbered, outgunned, out... everything. We need intel, backup, supplies, and most of all, we need a fucking plan. Okay, Olivier, let's hear your plan. I'm glad you're seeing reason. See this board behind me? We can use it to map out our plan of action. Figure out how to get inside the power plant and find whatever it is you're looking for. Or whomever. Every piece of intel, every bit of info about resources, we'll document in right here. We'll take our next step when the time is right. For today, let's focus on getting our strength back. If we're going to use this warehouse for our base, we need to find some supplies and get organized. Somewhere to sleep would be a start. Maybe we can find some cots? Okay. Let's do this right. Great. I'll do everything I can to help you figure out what happened to this... Tatiana? That was her name, right? One last thing before you go. NAR used as weapons with a biometric lock. We can't use them, so we have to defend ourselves with what we have. Use it as a last resort. I presume you know how to handle firearms? Then you're all set. I have faith in you, Igor. You can see everything from here. You cannot succeed alone, but there are others who will help you. I'm not sure what to do first. Should I tell Olivier to run some errands, or should I do it myself?
I could use a smoke. I wonder what's for dinner. Hope it's not that fucking pea soup again. Splinter, the KGB operator's nickname. <laughs> I'll probably never know who he really was.
fellow prospector. I'm looking for someone. A tall, hunched man with long brown hair. Maybe you've seen him. No, I'm sorry. What's this all about? I'm looking for my brother, Athanasius. He vanished without a trace a while back. I've been looking everywhere. And what have you both been doing here anyway? The zone's a dangerous place. Well, don't expect me to reveal our trade secrets, but... Well, let's just say there are many unclaimed riches still here in Pripyat. Really? Like what? You've got a nice aura. I'll let you discover that for yourself. I've got a nice what? <sighs> Never mind. I'm looking for someone as well. I'll keep an eye out for your brother. Thank you, my good sir. May Lady Luck smile upon your prospecting. We have to go. There's been an accident. We need to evacuate the children and staff. Buses from all over the country are coming to pick everyone up. Hurry! But I, I can't just leave the kindergarten unattended. No discussions, please. You'll thank us later. Lena. Your husband works in the power plant, right? No, I... I'm having some weird dreams lately. I, I must be tired, is all. You can't hide under your bed, Oleg. You're a big boy now. Tomorrow you're going to see your daddy. Oh, want to be a fireman like him? You're going to have to be brave then. I think this approach is working, Igor. Looks like we can sneak in and out of the zone without attracting attention. So, how did it go? Are you any closer to finding your old lady? You still want to go back to the power plant? I have to go back. I have the strongest feeling she's there. Feelings? You surprise me, Professor Kimenyuk. Trusting your instincts is important. The last time we tried that, we lost Anton. We need some hard evidence before we go down that road again. <laughs> Don't worry, Olivier. I'm not crazy. I'll keep gathering evidence, and when I've got enough, we can formulate a new plan. Good. Evidence, plans, information, resources. It will all get us closer to your goal, Igor. How did you do today? I'll brief you in a minute. First, let me point out a couple of things to you. Go on. You need to understand the role you're in. You hired me, and rented this warehouse. That makes you the commander of this base. It means you will be in charge of all our equipment and, most importantly, our food rations. You have to start thinking like a strategist, like this is a military operation. 
Organize the base and take care of your troops. That's number one. Starving is no fun. I know from experience. Forget to feed your troops, and their morale will drop. They might even desert you. Also, in situations where resources are scarce, there's a group psychology to consider. Playing favorites, rewarding those who slack off, and not appreciating the men who pull their weight are surefire ways of creating discord amongst the men. What men? There are only two of us. For now, but that has to change if you want your power plant operation to succeed. We need more power, more intel, more skill, and more bodies. And each of those bodies will need space, food, and resources in this base. I know you're eager to bolt out there and continue your search, but you need to be patient, plan, strategize, take it slow. You have to find time to cater to the needs of your companions and manage this warehouse. If you don't, all your plans will be for nothing. You're right. I need to be smart about all of this. Absolutely. And remember, I'm here for you. I will advise and support you every step of the way. That's what you're paying me for. Igor, the gun I gave you has traveled all around the world with me, but it's quite old. What do you think about building a calibration tool to upgrade it? Sounds good. I'll fabricate one when I get the chance. You need it, Igor. You need to understand, it wasn't my decision to shut down Ariadna. I don't blame you, Grace. But I still think it's a mistake. It's so much more than Pandora. It allows us to step into the realm of human memories and thoughts. Into the real world. What can I tell you, Eagle? The board decided it wasn't financially viable. It was too... outlandish. Ah, the fools! Every object is a natural dosimeter. Everything absorbs radioactive particles throughout its life, thus creating an echo in time and space. Ariadna can recreate this echo in a fractal VR simulation. There's nothing outlandish about it. Look, I get it. I do. It's your life's work. But just think about it. The process requires an unbelievable amount of power. It's impractical at this stage. What about those nuclear nano-diamond batteries that use the graphite from recycled radioactive waste? That's just another project right now, Igor. I still don't think it would be enough. For Ariadna to work, you need a power source that doesn't exist yet. Perhaps one that cannot be found on Earth. But... I'm sorry, Igor. It's over. You need to accept it and move on. Fuck the board. I'm not going to let anyone destroy my work. Wake up. Wake up, Igor. Tanya? Is this a dream? I'm waiting for you, my love. Find me. Hurry. I don't have much time left. I'm trying, Tanya. I really am. I need to look at my board. A first clue. When I find more, I can feed the data to Ariadna and see what really happened to Tanya. Note to self. Focus on finding more clues. Igor, I need a minute. What's going on? Something's up. NAR is being really active on the radio. They're looking for someone, supposedly a traitor and a thief. I managed to pinpoint the location. It's Kopachi, the village near the Pripyat River. This could be our ticket into the power plant. This person might know something important or have access to useful gear. What do you think he could know? 
passwords, credentials, uniforms, even rations. And it should be a fairly straightforward mission. If you're smart and fast, you won't even have to mix it up with NAR. You're right. This could be important. We should at least have a friendly chat with this so-called traitor. I'm glad you see my point. It's in Kopachi. You can't miss it. The enemy of my enemy is my friend, as they say. But can you ever trust a traitor, Igor? Trust is such a fragile thing, earned at a great price, yet so easily lost. But you never lost your trust in me, right, my love? <laughs>